Thank you so much. All right, we can go ahead and get this party started. Hey, everybody. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Solmonade Show with Sonia. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I know you could have been in 50 other places, but you chose to spend a few times here with us at the Solmonade Show with Sonia. So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And of course, if you're not watching us live, we thank you uh, for turning it on and joining us later on. We will continue to watch the comments uh, throughout the days and and the weeks going forward. And we'll um, interact with y'all and answer any questions that you might have or any comments. So we're so glad that you guys are here. We have our uh, returning guest, Dr. Carrie, is here from Lake Point Wellness, making another house call. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. It's, uh, we thank you so much for your tip of the week. And today, the tip of the week that you'll be talking on is actually our subject at hand. So we will get to that in just a moment. I just had a couple announcements that I wanted to make. Um, it's uh, I've been traveling extensively here recently, so it's really good to be back in the studio and to say hi to everybody. Um, I am uh, I am vaccinated uh, for my family. Uh, we have continued to test negative. Um, we continue to uh, quarantine, you know, pretty well on our own. Just we're still not really running around. So uh, we're still are just very cautious, very um, careful. Uh, you know, this uh, this pandemic is, is real and it is still taking lives. Uh, we we lost a young woman here in Minneapolis. Um uh, uh, Brianna, um, goodness, what was it last Saturday, Sunday? She was only 30 years old and she was just fine. Went to the hospital on April 8th and then COVID took her life. So, uh, many people are, are still mourning and grieving and suffering in this pandemic. We want to be cognizant of that and, and just know that we are uh, praying for, uh, Bree's family and, and her friends, um, Ashley and Shara and, and all of you out there who, um, uh, who are hurting and, and who are in pain at the passing of your friend. And, you know, we, we hear so many reports of other, um, loved ones across the country that are still suffering. So we are still in this global pandemic. We still must take precautions and follow the CDC guidelines. Um, so just wanted to say that we hope that you are all uh, safe in this uh, this COVID climate. Last week, last Saturday, excuse me, I had the honor and privilege of marrying friends of mine, Melissa and Scott Mallory. Congratulations, you guys. It was such a joy to officiate your wedding and to do your makeup for you, Melissa. Oh my gosh, it was just, um, and it was just such an honor uh, to be a guest of of um of the wedding as well and just hang out with your family members and uh donna and jim and andrew and and uh all the relatives that came out from maine and and the local ones here from uh minneapolis and those who even flew out from arizona so congratulations to uh, melissa and scott i know y'all are down there just love and saint thomas together so um congratulations to you guys and and i love you so much i can't wait to chat with you when you guys return the other thing I wanted to be sure to pass on to you guys is uh, I had a previous guest on the show, uh, Marilyn Hill, and Marilyn Hill is uh, uh, a mother here in the local area whose loved one had um, been uh, shot by police here locally, and, and she was one of the first um, that was documented anyway, so I believe it's like 27 years ago, her son Demetrius Hill um, was uh, killed at his appeared to be a mistaken identity, but nothing has ever happened. Uh, and so today at 4 o'clock p.m., uh, Gabe, if you have that, we can put that up there. Today at 4 o'clock p.m., there it is. Uh, we ask that you join Miss Marilyn, Mother Demetrius Hill. They are um, demanding justice for uh, his uh, uh, for her son, for his life, and that the case be uh, reopened. Uh, it was closed up pretty quick, and nothing has ever been done. Charges have never been, uh, been brought, and justice is not been had for uh, Demetrius and uh, Miss Marilyn has just been there side by side and shoulder to shoulder with all of the other families here in the area who have been um, peacefully marching and speaking and uh, having uh, prayer walks and prayer services for justice here in the Minneapolis area so Miss Marilyn you know that I love you sis and I just wanted to be sure to bring this up today uh, to invite everybody to come out today at 4 o'clock p.m. 
and um, lock hearts with Miss Marilyn uh, there in that rally today. So uh, that is uh, 4 o'clock p.m. here in the Minneapolis area. And um, I hope to see you guys there. So uh, God bless you, Miss Marilyn. You know, we're standing with you and praying with you. Uh, you know, during the uh, the COVID uh, pandemic that's been going on with all the restaurants closed every single week. I've been highlighting one restaurant. So I've done that through uh, that entire time while the restaurants were closed. But, you know, thank God the restaurants are opened up now. People can go in and dine indoors. And of course, the weather is turning and, and people can meet again outdoors. And so I just want to encourage everybody to support your local businesses, support uh, small local business, private businesses, and your local restaurants continue to do that. Um, hello to everybody in Mexico, I thank you so much for um, just for your hard work and um, just uh, your your fervor and your love, uh, your compassion, um, your support, and um, just for being so patient. You know, I know that you guys don't have necessarily as much of the support and opportunities and services that we have here in the United States, and I know that the, the suffering has just been tremendous. But my gosh, you just you just show up with that smile on your face, and you, and your hearts are just on your sleeve. And um, I just want to say it was wonderful to see so many of my friends again, and and I love you, and God bless you and, and your family and please continue to keep in touch and also to all of you in the Dominican I'm sorry I wasn't able to get there um, this winter but uh, I intend to see you all in the fall so love you all and God bless you and your families all right you guys uh, any other announcements that I was needing to get to let me check my notes here yes of course the big announcement okay Derek Chauvin has been found guilty on all three charges and for that that we celebrate uh we cry with the with uh, the the floyd family uh, as as i cried on that day as i i'm sure many of you have um this is just the beginning there's still so much work to do so uh do everything that you guys can there are letters to write there's our phone calls to make uh come alongside the families who have lost loved ones uh read the articles watch the interviews learn and grow and and understand what is happening uh here in this movement um the, the productive aspect of it what the demands are and that every case is open Opened and that everybody is standing for uh, fairness and justice and equity for all. And that is what we stand for here at Solmanad. And so um, I just want to just commend all of you who just pressed in and demanded for that justice and that that legal team that did such an excellent job just sticking to the facts. Um, you know, I, I keep saying God will not be mocked and surely he will not. And, um, you know, there's, there's a change that's coming uh, piece by piece day by day um, but it's going to take all of us and that's why I keep saying that together we can and together we will uh, I know that there's another protest that's coming up here in the Twin Cities um, for Dante Wright uh, his family just had one again the other day um, uh, he has not forgotten um, people are standing with you and uh, and praying for uh, for the Wright family um, and the Brown family and all of the other families across America who are suffering so uh, we don't want to forget um, those whose experience may not be the same as, as ours uh, yet God tru tru truly and surely has given us hearts of compassion you know the when the taglines for Solmanad is is inhale love exhale compassion and so surely we can have compassion for the plight of another even though it may not be our own experience um okay then let's see if there was anything else i wanted to touch on um hey i just wanted to say to you amity i love you sis and i'm standing with you and praying for you and i pray that justice will be had for uh for kobe heisler as well and that that is that is uh, not forgotten again former guest in our show and um and ashley quinones former guest in our show uh things are are coming uh, to a head here with the case that is is coming to the foreground i know that they are looking to raising funds for that case uh for justice for brian Quinones. Uh, so if you look here on Solmanad, you can go to the website or you can go to Facebook and even YouTube. You can see all of those interviews with those families, their um, their websites or their nonprofit organizations they've started, uh, ways that you can uh, donate financially or or with your time or with your uh, your talent or, or with uh, your finances in any way that you can give. Uh, go ahead and check that out on Solmanad, but we're standing with you all. Um, 
and uh we love you and we're, we're praying for you uh, and your families for justice to be had. Well, we are going to go ahead and transition right now at this point because we have Dr. Carrie in the house that has made another house call. So, Dr. Carrie, welcome back here in, in studio, a little bit virtual, but uh, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me. It's so yeah. fun. You just look so beautiful. I think that ski trip has done you well, hasn't it? <laughs> the ski trip was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, learned, I learned a lot. I had a little injury. Yes. Turns out I, you know, was acting like I was Lindsay Vaughn. I'm not. Mm, not. <laughs> Did a little cartwheel on my skis, uh-huh. not on purpose. So oh. a little, yeah, I'm taking a little break from some patient okay. time. <laughs> Recovering. Okay. And with that being said, if anybody needs regenerative medicine, meaning mm-hmm. like healing tendons, healing like cartilage stuff, so that's like PRP, stem cell stuff, uh, Odom Wellness is in Minnetonka, because it's Dr. Odom, and they are amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just simply amazing. I He was ultrasounding my shoulder on Monday morning, and I'm having PRP uh, to repair the tendon tear next week. And I was like, let okay. me see that. And, you know, of course, I'm like, pull that ultrasound thing over, and I'm laying in my hospital gown. And I'm like, most people are like, let me see the ultrasound of my baby. And I'm like, let me see the ultrasound of my bicep tendon tear. <laughs> right. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you're getting great care. Um, We'll go ahead and have somebody type his name there in the comments so that if people are looking for that, then they can reach out to him as well. Um, And, you know, I had my own shoulder issues, uh, what, six, seven years ago, and um, I know it's no joke. Nope. Yeah, you use your arms a lot more than me. Can you say the doctor's name? Sorry. (laughs) Can you say the doctor's name one more time and I'll write it in it's comments? Dr. Odom. O D O M. At Odom Wellness in Minnesota. O D O M. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Odom. Their team is amazing. They're great. So then are you just able to do like um, adjustments on little infants and just cons- um, consults with folks and stuff? Yeah, so I'm still practicing functional medicine, and then I'm working with infants, and a little bit with some, you know, basically with infants. I I was working on a patient actually Monday, and I did a couple adjustments, just like left one-armed, <laughs> karate chop style almost. Right. Like, it was kind of right. telling the other doctor in the room, like, how aggressive I am, and that I'm so mean, or whatever. And I'm, I, I'm so like harsh or, you know, and cause I had to like use a little more force cause I only had one arm, you know? So uh-huh. it's just a little more tense. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm like this with everyone, not just you. Unless uh, I'm not like, this is everyone except for a baby. And she, she looked at me like, right. I'd like, you're calling me a baby. I'm like, no, an actual baby. Like, so I had a cute little six week old the other day. Yeah. Tiny little things. Yeah. Birth is no joke. Like, People are yeah. like, well, what would a baby need? Well, babies are, you know, we're designed to just be perfect. We're designed to sleep. We're designed to latch and nurse and not be colicky and just be, huh. so, you know, if that's not happening, then there's something out of balance with that little one. You know, birth is traumatic. It's, you know, it's designed to be beautiful. And it's one of the most beautiful things as a jewel I've ever seen in my life. And I cried every time I was at a birth and of the miracle of it. And it's still, it's really you know, logistically, it's hard on a body. <laughs> mm-hmm. you have to do that, that birth canal. Or if you're I mean, C-section, you... that's even worse, you know? Like, you're just yanked out in your whole little system and your nervous system and your body's just like, wah! You know, so that's not good for, mm-hmm. yeah, so. Right. I think we need to have a whole show on this. Oh, yeah. Um, chiropractic care for infants and toddlers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I could talk about that. Mm-hmm. And, and big, mm-hmm. big pregnant bellies. Help them mm-hmm. down birth. We'll get the spine out and show you what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would love that. Let's do that. Sounds good. All right. Today, there are a lot of people, especially during this trying and stressful time, who have sleep challenges. Yes. 
And so we're going to talk about that. Um, can I hear you okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, uh, Dr. Carey, I think your same that same function, the automatic sound thing, might have turned back on. It's doing the same thing. Okay. Well, goodness gracious, audio settings. There. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Can Wait. you give us a quick okay. test? Is that better? There we go. Now it sounds good. There we go. Okay. Yeah, maybe stay yeah, speaking okay. strong into it. Yeah. <laughs> much better when I'm just in this studio and Gabe, you're managing everything for me. <laughs> I know, right? I agree. Next time I'm just going to have to go there instead of being in my corner <laughs> office. You're more than welcome. <laughs> it's easier I for me too. I about that as yeah. an option today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so in talking about sleep, uh, we were talking off camera and you actually have quite the experience with sleep challenges, don't you? Oh, Can yeah. you share with our viewers a little bit about that? So I, you know, I just was a very imaginative kid <laughs> who also, um, you know, like I tossed and turned and like had thoughts going. And so, and even when I was young too, I, I had a high bed, fancy, you know, I, we joked that I was like princess in the pea because anything would wake me up. And one night I finally was in the biggest dead sleep ever. And I reached down and I leaned back and I missed the bed and I fell up. My head vibe was super high and I landed on a hardwood floor on my head. And then I would like, so then after that I panicked and I would wake up. I wouldn't let myself get into a deep sleep. And, you know, I'm an only Aww. child who grew up in the middle of nowhere, literally. And sorry, mom, but I did in the middle of nowhere in Iowa. And uh, right. <laughs> she loves it. She's still on the farm. But it's like, no, thank you. Um, and, you know, so then when I was finally with friends and sleepovers, I had like, I felt like I had just like, which didn't exist at the time, but I had total FOMO. I didn't want to ever fall asleep. I wanted to just hang out, you know. <laughs> and so I have all, all the tricks and now I'm finally sleeping really, really well, really hard, really amazing. And yeah, even if I sleep for five hours now, I'm like, good morning. Like, it's so great because I would wake up literally for wow. years. 20 to 40 times a night just tossing turning so yes and there's so many things what people don't know about sleep is there's so many different things of whether you don't fall asleep whether you wake up whether you do this and there's new testing that can be done to like fine tune it so we'll just go we can go through all the besides and we'll review sleep hygiene which is called sleep hygiene or sleep healthy sleep habits too sleep hygiene yeah okay I like, I like all right well, let's talk about habits that it's better it sounds yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, hygiene the basics sounds are, odd, but you know, <laughs> I know that's just what they, I don't know why they named it that many years ago, but I mean, the first thing is a lot of people have a TV in the bedroom. They're on their devices, right? Well, we know that mm -hmm. being on your devices does not help you wind down. I mean, it might seem like it does because your mind numbs or can, or you're watching right. a show, your mind, but it's really stimulating. And interestingly uh -huh. enough, especially if we're on our devices, blue light depletes melatonin. Right? Melatonin is like our self help hormone. The other thing, though, that depletes melatonin. So melatonin is, so there's differences between I'm not staying asleep and I'm not rested or I'm not falling asleep. So melatonin, if you're not falling asleep and you can't wind down, it can be related to your cortisol. It can, so we'll talk about that in a moment. But it's really a lot of times a melatonin thing. But melatonin can also be off and be low if you have your hormones are out of balance, especially for women and stress, yes. especially like this year. I, I mean, I, we've literally never seen anything like it in 21 years of practice, like the level of stress in people's bodies. It's insane. Um, not only did we, you know, not only everything we talked, you were talking about before, um, with the trial and Minneapolis and everything and across our country and like shootings that every week mm -hmm. you turn around and there's like three more in the, in the country and, and then you throw mm -hmm. COVID on top of it. Like yeah. it's insane. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think it's like mm -hmm. technology is amazing. However, to like have everything at your fingertips in a second is also very stressful to your nervous system. Like people don't shut down and wind off. Like I love that you go away and you plan in vacation to just like, sh like regroup and shut down and wi wind down. And uh, you know, I have some patients that are like, well, we can't afford that or we can't travel like you travel. I travel a lot and, but it doesn't have to be that you could just, 
mean, in Minneapolis, at least, we have like one of the best park systems in the world, in the country, right. for sure, in the world. Mm-hmm. You know, you could just as a family, like, okay, we're just going to shut off our devices and we're just going to go for a hike or we're just going to be outside, you know, being active. That's the first thing. If you don't exercise and you don't burn and use your body, you're going to, it's hard to fall asleep. It's hard to like come back down. That's so necessary for our, our healthy cortisol, that stress response pattern. It's healthy for, it's so important for making melatonin. And even um, for women, as we're moving a little older or women that are younger, um, we have a hormone called progesterone that is necessary for the last half of our cycle. And it's also necessary for healthy sleep. And it's necessary for balancing our cycle. It's necessary so that we don't have PMS. We don't have issues with sometimes with things going through menopause. It's necessary for fertility and exercise helps in that moment of helping it for a brain function. When progesterone is depleted or low, exercise helps with that. Yeah. So exercise is super important on many levels. Um, Melatonin can also be low if we have something off with our guts. So we've talked kind of about like good GI health and, you know, that can be 12 shows just in that there's so much information but if you have low melatonin you could have parasites you could have a leaky gut that's going to affect your hormones you could have you know that's a whole piece and then also the falling asleep is can be related to like how you're eating and blood sugar issues sure so it can be just little kind of tiny tweaks to balancing um those proteins and fats and carbs for each person is a little different on what they need to help their body and nervous system. So that's so what are their tips and so for people who are having a difficult time falling asleep. Yes. So if you're falling asleep, well one you want to make sure that you have a dark room, like blackout. Right. You want to make sure that, I mean, I would say off devices and ideally off TV an hour before bedtime. So that's, mm-hmm. you can take, a, you know, a hot bath. There's, uh, well, this doesn't take you off your devices, unfortunately. Now I sound like a huge hypocrite, but there are like a few great apps. Like there's Calm app or Insight Timer sure. that can do right. music. They can do meditations. I also have glow glo is yoga glow it used to be yoga glow but it's for and they have really really great like nighttime meditations they have really great Mm -hmm. short little gentle yogas uh to like just there's one um taylor harkness has one called distressify and it just like Mm -hmm. winds you down and calms you down you know to move in that way uh Mm -hmm. reading is a better option than TV, you know, and then I really right. like yep. a little nighttime tea, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I just use like the Yogi Nighty Night. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my kids always called it um, sleepy time tea. I would always give them sleepy time tea when they were young, and if um, if they were uh, struggling with a, a cold or something like that, mommy, give me sleepy time tea. <laughs> right, exactly. And you know, I think it's hard too, and I've struggled with this personally. Is that when life is really stressful? I mean, there's a reason that people. I joked about this many years ago. I was like, well, no wonder men in their 50s and 60s were like, I had my hard executive day at work and I'm coming home and I want my wife to have my martini ready for me or my <laughs> my low ball of scotch right. ready for me because they're, you know, right. like alcohol like depresses your nervous system. So it like chills you out. I was like, oh yeah, no kidding. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's okay to like have a glass of wine with dinner or have a drink, you know, or celebrate and have some alcohol here and there. If it's not an addiction problem for you, of course. And when it becomes a habit, it's ultimately going to mess up your sleep. You know, like it's going to, you know, your liver time in traditional Chinese medicine, you have gallbladder time from 11 to one liver time from one to three. So your body is actively trying to detoxify and work on that. So if you need to support those detoxification pathways or you're drinking alcohol, that's why, you know, women, women and men, like I mean to say starting at least by your thirties, it's like, Oh yeah, well I had two glasses of red wine and then I was awake all night, you know? Right. right. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. like, cutting out the alcohol, you know, moving to a little sleepy time tea. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, 
Um, you know, and I was just on my trip and one of my girlfriends I was with uh, said that she had a hard time falling asleep and that she was going to use her melatonin. So do you guys have people call you and ask for a, a supplemental assistance like that? Yeah. So there's different forms of melatonin. Melatonin. Uh, so first of all, there's a we have a great melatonin liquid. Uh, melatonin. Melatonin, interestingly enough, uh, is a tiny. The nutrient size is tiny. Um, so different different micronutrients and different molecules are different sizes. But melatonin is teeny, teeny, tiny. So melatonin capsules should mm-hmm. be like teeny tiny. <laughs> like we have a 10 milligram capsule okay. and it is it is teeny. It's like the size. Like a BB? <laughs> no, like, okay, I'm looking at the Zoom thing and there's the arrow on the, you know, on a Zoom call where yeah. the cursor moves. And if you yeah. just drew an oval right. around that arrow, that's the size of the supplement for 10 milligrams it. of melatonin. It's teeny. You know, so if you have this yeah. big okay. melatonin capsule then you have a bunch of fillers you don't need in your melatonin. Right. So, yes. you know, like... Which there are a lot of fillers and supplements. <laughs> a lot of fillers and supplements. And, and, you just have to be, yeah. Exactly, right? And so Quality. then, depending on the person, it can be a controlled release. It can be, you know, is it more like, I'm just so stressed, I'm depleted in melatonin, and like, let's figure out how to fix the underlying cause and why you don't have any. And or right. is it... You know, there's other pieces of winding down, which I'll get to that. We can go over those supplements in a minute. But melatonin should be small. And melatonin, remember, most of us work at computers. Blue light depletes melatonin. Stress messes up your GI, your guts, and your creates more leaky gut and more GI dysfunction, which then you don't make melatonin. So years ago, and even still on a lot of Google sites, they talk about not doing too mm-hmm. much melatonin, right? You shouldn't do melatonin. You shouldn't have melatonin. You know, teenagers should never have, mel- you know, and it's like, well, we need to sleep and then we need to have our body self-regulate. And there's also, right. you know, this isn't the only thing anyone would do if you have a cancer diagnosis, but melatonin is a super, super powerful antioxidant. Mm-hmm. So, you know, some people have seen the studies and heard about utilizing melatonin when you had COVID, Sure. Right, because it's a super powerful antioxidant. Um, uh, there's a, quite a few natural doctors that work in natural medicine that work with cancer patients. So, alongside any medical inter like traditional oncology medical intervention, they use if they're also using natural forms of nutrients and different forms of healing. I mean, some people dose forty to sixty milligrams at night. So, you know. I have so many friends or patients or, you know, acquaintances that are worried. They're like, oh, my gosh, I'm taking three milligrams of melatonin every night. Is that bad? (laughs) No, it's a powerful antioxidant. We all need more. And and again, for everyone listening, it was named wrong. The scientists named it backwards. Right. Mm -hmm. So the process of causing cellular damage is called oxidation. So all the good things, melatonin pomegranates, blueberries, our green leafies, those are all antioxidants. So they're named backwards, but they're the positives for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And somebody else had just written in and they want to know, um, how long uh, should they stop exercising before bedtime? That is a great question. And it's, it's, uh, it, there's not a perfect answer for that. So it's pers- person dependent. Mm-hmm. So some people get more energized from their exercise. So sure. if I'm going to do hard, hard exercise and work out hard to break a sweat, to lift or to do some cardio, I personally need to do it in the morning. And I do like quiet, like gentle yoga, wind down in the evening. Mm-hmm. And then some people are like, oh, my gosh, you know, I have super busy days. I have this. This is what happens with the kids. This is my schedule. You know, with work, I'm either going to make some poor choices with food or alcohol or I'm going to hit the I'm going to have a hard workout before bed. So right. unfortunately, you just have to experiment with that a little bit and everyone's sure. different. So it mm-hmm. it's really about listening to your body. And mm-hmm. I think, too, with listening to your body, that's the other piece with eating. Right. Because, you know, in this world of, you know, I want everyone to be at a really lower, healthier weight, right, for health. Not for that, you know, like this is what we look like on the red carpet, right? Right. And... So a lot deal. of times people tell you to, or people are kind of have been told that I can't eat past 6 p.m. at night or I can't eat past 7 or 8 p.m. at night because mm-hmm. then I'll gain weight. It's bad for me. It's bad for my blood sugar. And every person's different. Yes. I stopped eating at 6 o'clock at night and I tried to sleep. I mean, I'd be up by 2 in the morning and I'd be like, right. <laughs> give me a rest slab of ribs. I'm something starving. <laughs> you know, and for me, that messes with my blood sugar and it like... Mm-hmm. 
you know, it makes my cortisol like totally sure. spike. Right. You know, and so cortisol mm-hmm. is this uh, stress hormone that we can actually measure with saliva. And it's supposed to be really high in the morning to like wake you up and get going and then slowly dip over the day. And you can even me- you can measure it, too, when you wake up. And if you wake up in the middle of the night, it's just insomnia, cortisol, and to see where that's happening and what's going. Mm-hmm. So, like, for those that are like, oh, I'm trying all these health- healthy sleep habits, I'm trying this and it's not getting better. You know, you can look deeper at testing of stool samples to look deeper at that gut stuff. You can look deeper at how hormones are functioning through dried urine test, not blood tests. And you can also look at saliva, cortisol levels to see where you're spiking to have those clues of, you know, and you can even do like a blood glucose, like a glucometer to see like, okay, first thing when I wake up, where is my blood sugar at? Mm -hmm, Or two hours after I eat, where's my blood sugar at? Is it like spiking high and I'm not eating the right foods for my body? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, Mm -hmm. cool stuff. And glucometers you can get at Walgreens. Okay, they can get those. Yes, sir. Yeah, wherever. For the the other stuff that you were saying, so you guys offer these services. Uh, they're um, they're at at the practice, right? F- physically, but for viewers who are out of state, they can actually contact your office, and you guys can they the staff can help set them up to get them tested, right? Right. So we can do phone consults, and mm-hmm. we can do a phone consult. Even just we have a little ten minute. What should I schedule? Check in for anyone that's new, and they're like, I don't know what I'm so. You know, where should I go with this, or what should I do? So we do that complimentary, and then after that, we can do phone consults, or we can do video consults. And within our video consults, uh, we use and we use a scheduling app called Jane App and Notes. And so then there's a secure video portal to like manage all of the HIPAA, you know, safety and security for sure. people's privacy. And- mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So talk to us now, doctor, about staying asleep. Yes. So staying asleep, again, it can be blood sugar. It can be that spike of stress. But a lot of times when people are waking up a lot and not staying asleep, um, we'll talk about separate of females going through menopause or perimenopause. We'll so mm-hmm. the, the rest of the people, <laughs> kids, teenagers, you know, younger women, <laughs> um, <laughs> men. Not us. <laughs> not us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Stress throws bodies into crazy places. So I've learned a yes, lot. It does. The, I mean, COVID, like, <laughs> fast track my learning on a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. And yep. um, so if you're not staying asleep, that's more that mind racing and that adrenal stress of needing more relaxing adaptogens and herbals and theanine and GABA. You know, GABA is this calming neurotransmitter. And what tends to happen is GABA teeter-totters with a different neurotransmitter called glutamate. So glutamate is our neurotransmitter of pain and stress. So what happens is well, everyone's glutamate sky high after this year. I mean, goodness right. gracious, right? <laughs> right. But what, a, a simpler version is you stub your toe and you're like in so much pain that you're like, Wah! and then all of a sudden it just kind of calms down and it's like, oh, you know, I stubbed my toe, nothing happened. Well, that's right. glutamate kicking out because you had pain, mm-hmm. something painful or stressful happened to your body, and then your body floods yourself with gap. That's a normal response. But what happens is with work, with stress, with kids, like kids schedules, we were talking about that with a, I was talking about that with a patient yesterday. I'm like, this is not what it was when we were kids. No. Like schedules for kids and you're on the phone and you have to do this. And then there's, it's insane. There's Instagram and bullying and this. And I mean, you can see all the stress and all the trauma, like bad things happened when we were young, you know, Mm -hmm. people were murdered. There were things, but we didn't know about it. Right. We didn't know what happened the next town over the next state over until like three days later because you only watch the news at 6 p.m. or 10 p.m. and there are four stations like it just was information overload Mm -hmm. and so theanine can be taken you know it's a a lot of times a really great liquid you know whatever the brand is sun theanine is like the brand sun theanine is the patented brand of theanine that's in all the supplements that we carry with theanine it's sun theanine other ones so if you're getting it over the counter you want to make sure that that's the patented version of like the best version that multiple different supplement companies use how do you spell it sun theanine i 
think your sound just suggested a little bit too. There we go. Yeah, it's just sun and then T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. -E. Yeah, okay. And, you know, there's like the brand that you can just get that brand from the company. And then mm -hmm. there are lots of different things. Like one of our, my favorite products when you're not staying asleep is something called Relax Max by Zymogen. And okay. it also has GABA in it. So it's kind of like, and I have adults sometimes drink it all day. It's good for kids. It come, It's like cheer Kool-Aid. It has a couple other things, some magnesium. So it just like calms people. Well, who um, doesn't like cherry Kool-Aid? Right? I know it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and it helps people sleep. It calms you down, right? Right. So it calms down that and enhances that to rebuild that GABA response. Mm -hmm. um, you know, interesting thing about... You know, we've also had a year of insane mental health uh, stress yeah. and suicides right. and anxiety and depression, which is so horrible yeah. and something I've never seen before or experienced mm -hmm. in, you know, in practice. None, yeah. none of us, no providers have. It's insane, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they did in like World War II or in, in Vietnam, but people didn't go to providers like we go now, right? Right. And... So that piece of when, when someone is super stressed and cutting or harming themselves, mm -hmm. that's because, remember how I talked about stubbing your toe is glutamate, and then your brain naturally gives you GABA, which is a calming neurotransmitter. Mm -hmm. So I never understood, and I mean, like I went to the seminar, you many, 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 last decade, but I did, before that, I didn't understand. I was just like this young, naive person who was like, well, why would you do that? Why would you cut yourself? Or why would you do this? Right? I didn't understand the, right. and then I was like, whoa, it's like so out of someone's control because that pain response kicks out glutamate and then your brain, because our bodies are so divinely designed, floods you with GABA and you get a calm. So that those so those teens, those adults that are doing self harm, it's about that piece of like balancing your neurotransmitters and balancing that stress response and having other pieces to help you deal with stress because they're innately saying, I can't stop myself. I just have I'm just drawn to wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's because their body innately knows, okay, now I'm gonna get some GABA and I can just like I can calm even if it's for three minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, when I learned that years ago, I was just heartbreaking, you know, yeah. so it's about like finding those. I mean, that's a deeper piece, but it's finding about those deeper pieces and to balance that out. So when your brain is racing or you have that anxiety, you know, there's so much you can do nutrient supplement wise, food wise. Right. And unfortunately, when we have that, we tend to crave the foods that are worse for us instead of good, healthy fats and veggies. Right. And right. Then, you know, like working with a great therapist that also deals with cell memory. And so working at a deeper level. So you're doing EMDR, you're doing some tapping, you're working with someone who maybe does some hypnosis or some Reiki. So you're working on those deeper cell memories. And cell memory is like, okay, so Michael Jordan, man, he shoots and hit that the perfect shot, right. the perfect shot, right. the perfect shot. And the perfect shot is cell memory. Mm -hmm. And when we have stress or we have a negative experience, we can still have the same cell memory with it that's built up and remembered in our cells so that you have every experience and you go into trauma and panic right away again. You know, a simple way is if you loved your grandma and she made chocolate chip cookies, every time you smell chocolate chip cookies, you get warm fuzzies. Right. If your grandma was horrible and mean and an alcoholic and, you know, Right. You know, through things that are grandchildren, whenever you smell chocolate chip cookies, you're like, oh, you get like this upset right. stomach. You just feel yeah. gross, you know? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when we're dealing with anything with not sleeping, there's a lot of piece of anxiety or depression that goes along with that. And that is going to affect your neurotransmitters and your ability mm -hmm. to sleep. And so working on healing at that at such a deeper level is an important piece, mm -hmm. you know, exercise, like burning sure. out that anxiety, burning out that sure. mental noise mm -hmm. um, writing things down like you're making your list um, doing gratitude you know like what do you do at night like you can start your day with gratitude you know and say the things you're grateful for and you can also um, just have a little 
just like hold your hand to your heart or do a prayer or meditation, whatever your spirituality um, aligns with. And just be grateful for what you have, right? To just quiet your mind. And those apps, even though I said get off, you know, devices and stuff (laughs) at night, but the apps have a really great like a gratitude meditation, a calm mm-hmm. sleep meditation. You know, some mm-hmm. people like the stories to like, you know, I couldn't do this. I don't do well with the stories because I'm like, well, this is interesting. And then <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, this is, I was like, well, this is great. <laughs> I'm not going to fall asleep now. I want to hear what happens, you know? So I need like ambient noise, like some of the, I'm so figly, you know, something, yeah. um, mm-hmm. you know, the 528s and the 428s, those hurts, those resonating sounds right and then ambient mm-hmm. noise is a different option <laughs> yeah right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah because you don't want to be overstimulated of course yeah, yeah my, most people are not but you know yeah. that's i was totally overstimulated i don't ever listen to sleep stories because i'm mm-hmm. like, what's happening <laughs> yeah for me my my quiet time is so important um, both in the morning and when I first go to bed and I'm just very intentional with that so I'm, I close my eyes and I talk to God and it's I always you know start with with Thanksgiving and gratitude you know there's a scripture that says that you know we enter the gates with Thanksgiving and we enter his courts with praise so first is Thanksgiving and so it just it's it's it is it's so powerful and it just helps to steady and calm uh, uh, any sense of anxiety and helps everything just to kind of be still, you know, and there's that one scripture that says, be still and know that I am God that just, just be still because it's, you know, we are not meant to manage and to handle everything. And so for me, and it's also closing my eyes because if my eyes are open, then I'm stimulated by everything that I see, just closing my eyes and just being still and just starting with gratitude and just having that time of prayer. And I literally will say if I, if I need to, I generally don't have a problem falling asleep at all, but I say, Lord, help me to just fall asleep. And I'm out. I do not sit up at night. I fall asleep very, very fast. I mean, usually within five or 10 minutes. Right. Well, and I think that's such an important piece. Like, again, I don't write and list any of my gratitudes at night because it wakes me mm-hmm. up. And, I'm like, that's that. right. and right. I think in the last year of the stress, I've never seen in patients, in communities, in myself personally, like that yeah. piece of spirituality and my faith was, had grew immensely during this last mm-hmm. year because that yeah. is that piece um, is to release and let go, release and let yeah. go to God, releasing for whoever, yeah. for a higher power, whatever it is for the, whoever's yeah. listening right. and just letting know like there is this, you know, there's, there's so many things out of our control. We can't, you know, it's that's part of the serenity prayers. You can't, you can't control and you can't change what you can't change. Mm-hmm. And, the yep. more that you can master that is, you know. Um, oh, I just saw a thing. Is there a t- testing for, for neurotransmitter chemistry? There's actually not great testing for neurotransmitters. So there's just really not um, for specific for your neurotransmitters. And instead, what you do is you look at how your gut health functions and how your hormone functions, how your detoxification functions, how your cortisol is. So you're not going to measure specific like dopamine, serotonin, GABA, glutamate. You're not going to measure those levels. But one of my favorite tests, I mean, I think this is actually the coolest test in the world, um, at least in my top five. Uh, (laughs) But it's the Dutch (laughs) test. And we talked about it on a previous show. But it looks at, it's going to measure your melatonin. It's going to measure that cortisol spike and what's happening insomnia cortisol if you wake up at night it's going to look at the metabolites of how your detoxification is processing because if you're not detoxifying well you're going to wake up because your liver is not doing its job you're not working so there's so many different pathways and different processes to pull chemicals and toxins out of our body and it's also going to look at so hormones how are your hormones functioning versus like getting your blood drawn there's a big range like oh yeah my estrogen's fine my progesterone's fine my testosterone's this testosterone's this no it's actually looking like how is your body utilizing the hormones and how is it functioning Mm -hmm. so that's the test i would work with Um, And again, this is a test that you guys um, can offer both uh, in office and for those who even live out of state, they can contact the office and and they can order the test and you can guide them through it, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I, you know, the next question was, do you just have people do GABA experimentally? I don't. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, I, when it comes to the, 
when I first started in practice and started with functional medicine and nutrition, there weren't the number, there wasn't the access. You could only get high quality supplements from a provider. And the mm-hmm. world has changed, which is great. Uh, there are so many quality supplements from the co-ops and Whole Foods and other natu- natural practitioners that people have access to now. And just when it comes to sleep and what you need or what, I just don't, I, it's just a, professionally, I think you need to have, I recommend having a consult with someone. I don't recommend just mm-hmm. grabbing things over the counter and trying to figure it mm-hmm. out yourself. Um, I don't figure out my own supplements myself. You know, I have one of the other doctors here manage it for me and this is my career. Yeah, and right. so, you know, and for some people, you know, we have a 15 minute consult for some people or 30, you know, or some people just mm-hmm. want to t- dip their toe in and they're like, I just don't know, you know, so sure. that's an option. Sure. Mm-hmm. So. I love options. You know, just yesterday I was uh, laying out all my supplements to go ahead and take and I had a neighbor who was over and she was asking me, what is all that? And so I was going through everything and she's like, how long have you been taking this? How long have you been? I'm like 30 years, 25 years, 20 years, you know, and going over everything. And she was asking me about where to pick things up. And I was talking to her about the importance of having, you know, high quality pharmaceutical grade supplements. And I said, literally, you can just pop your one a day or whatever i mean not to diss the brand but you know you can just pop some random supplement and just poop it right out to the bottom of your toilet and your body never reaped any benefits at all and then all the fillers fillers, right Mm -hmm. yeah you know and it's interesting to you like never 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 i love amazon prime i use it all the time yes i love it but i would never get something i'm going to put in my body like food or a supplement from amazon because That's just what I said yesterday because she said she gets some from Amazon. And I said, I wouldn't recommend getting anything from Amazon or that you're going to be consuming like that. No, and the reason is there's, we've had patients in, in the hospital, their babies in the hospital because they, the mom got supplements off of Amazon instead of getting it from, from her chiropractor because she wanted to yeah. save money. And she didn't yeah. know they were counterfeit. I mean, people are smart. There's counterfeits on Amazon. And Mm -hmm. also the temperature. So some supplements actually need healthy, like a stable temperature regulation. Um, And so their warehouses aren't stable. Right. A stable Mm -hmm. temperature. So. Yeah. Um, There's another question that's come in. Store-bought brand. Well, that's that's an interesting question. We hear, you know, I hear like 15 brands at our office. So mm-hmm. I use ortho molecular, I use Nutridyne, I use Zymogen, Cellcore for gut healing stuff. Um, I use Metagenics. We use, you know, those are kind of our main. We use Organo for their Reishi. You know, so it just kind of depends mm-hmm. on the person. Um, mm-hmm. Those we kind of have the top six, and then we have other ones. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you guys can help somebody to, to customize exactly what is best for their lifestyle, their body, their DNA. Yeah, completely exactly. customizing it just for them. What's so cool with t- testing. So now we also like we can do omega-3 testing. We can do your vitamin D and see those are essential fats that you we're supposed to kind of be able to make. But we really can't um, mm-hmm. for lots of reasons. And we can look at. You know, now we look at, sometimes we look at stool samples for people and like really look at deeper diving into like our, your digestive enzymes and your detoxification pathways and gut stuff or do you have parasites or all these things. And what's so cool about the testing is that the protocols and the plans that patients and the amount of supplements and stuff they have to take because we can fine tune it so specifically for them with testing. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, people are taking a lot less and they're getting better results and getting better faster. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well, okay, yeah. just, yeah, the next question. Um, no, because insurance <laughs> in our country doesn't believe in health, and I will, yeah, right? <laughs> but, no, unfortunately. Now, every once in a while, like, some MDs that do functional medicine can, you can go and go to them, um, and they're great practitioners. Sometimes they'll use insurance. I We have patients that use HSA accounts, so that yeah. can cover, and sometimes we'll cover supplements. We have some patients that, instead of having health insurance, have a health share. So they're part of Good Samaritan, which is a Christian health sharing account. It's like a co-op for insurance, mm. and they can get reimbursed for consults with us and for their supplements. 
So there are options awesome. out there in your HSA. It depends on your HSA. Most HSAs will cover it. Some HSAs have a little tiny, tiny fine print that they won't cover supplements. Mm-hmm. So it just depends. Yeah. 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 Okay, so talk to me now uh, about um, it is the end of the night. Um, hopefully, um, it's been a longer night um, for folks that have actually slept, but uh, that alarm is about to go off. Yes. Do, should they hit that 10 minute snooze or not? I mean, I would say no. I would mm-hmm. say, you know, I mean, I would, I would say that's not the best idea. There are, again, there are lights that aren't necessarily, now like, fancy light bulbs are Bluetooth. But there are also um, alarms that are light alarms. So depending Mm -hmm. on how tired you are, you know, that's the thing that you can do is you can have certain light bulbs. Again, it's Bluetoothy, which is in my favorite. But you can get the alarm that actually, like, turns on the light, like, good morning, and then a couple, like, you know, wind chimes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ideal, you wouldn't hit, you know, a snooze. I've just, never been a snooze alarm girl. How about you? Oh, well, oh, yeah. Well, I didn't, I mean, I stopped really sleeping well by the time I was 10. So, yeah. you know, so, and, and I just started sleeping well again recently. I mean, recently, like in the last five months, four Woo! months. I, know. <laughs> I go in like six hours of sleep and I want, I still sleep more. Like my goal is eight every night. And yes. if I get it, I'm still like, I'm doing, you know pre-shoulder injury i'm doing cartwheels i'm jumping up and down i feel amazing because i didn't wake up 20 to 40 times last night that's fantastic um and but oh yeah i used to hit snooze like you know four times it was terrible Mm. Mm. then you have to like then you have to like set your alarm or then you start your day i'll talk about like stressed out and cortisol you start your day out like oh my gosh now i'm behind and you know i mean it's just right caught in the cycle or you're skipping your workouts and and like that piece of if you're super tired and you're not sleeping you know you're not going to jump into a hard workout right away maybe you're gonna maybe and you're working from home maybe you're gonna walk the stairs in your house Mm -hmm. you know and walk well now it's finally spring and someone can get outside some people don't want to go outside when it's cold out um or get fresh air and just walk for like you know i ran an errand this morning and just walked so, mm-hmm. you know, it wasn't like hard exercise, but at least I moved right. in fresh air for 30, 35 minutes this morning yes. instead of, I could have mm-hmm. easily driven. Right. So I just worked in like a little fresh air and movement into my day. And I mm-hmm. can't do most of the exercises and the workouts that I want to do right now because of my shoulder. So right. I just, I just walked and got fresh air. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. And when you're starting a new exercise program, we've talked about this before, is to start small. Like, I, I never want anyone to set themselves up for failure. You want to right. set yourself up for success. So you can't Attainable go, goals. I never work out, and now I'm going to work out five days a week, and I'm going to I'm going to yeah. do an online boot camp, and I'm going to, you know, you're going to hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. You're going to get burnt yeah. out. You're probably yeah. stressed out to begin with. It's too much for your body, you know, so mm-hmm. stepping stones, you know, mm-hmm. and work with someone professionally, you know, to help guide you if you're new into harder workouts, you know. Right, right. And I think that's always worth it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I also, my personality is I would skip it and sleep in or hang out and drink coffee and right. look at the or start working, you know, get to my emails faster. Like I would always skip my workouts if I didn't plan it. Like I know that about myself. So I plan it into my world right. that mm-hmm. I go to a class and work out with a trainer. I have yeah. like three different gyms and places that I go to, or I meet a friend for a walk run. I, you know, I've, I had to set that up years ago. Otherwise I would have just... And I was always so tired. I would always skip a workout. I was exhausted. Mm-hmm. Didn't sleep mm-hmm. for 30 years. <laughs> right. I can't imagine that. I, uh, I've i never had a problem um, sleeping. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a flight attendant, international flight attendant thing, but we can sleep sitting down. We can. I mean, it's we, a blessing. We yeah. can just capture those moments, you know, anywhere at any time. I'm going to sleep for 20 <laughs> minutes. I'm going to sleep for an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to. And. And. You know, it, of course, the goal is to try to get the eight hours of sleep. But um, man, I've just never had a problem. I have had personally, you know, with we're getting ready to move to Arizona, and so I'm doing all this packing and organizing and and uh, you know, um, project management stuff, right? And so I have been waking up like to go to the bathroom, you know, at say four or five in the morning, you know, after I've been asleep for five or six hours, 
And then the brain kicks in. So just in recent weeks, I have had that. But uh, I can be disciplined enough to, I'll get up and get on my phone and go through all my emails and organizing everything that I need to do and stuff and go over everything. And then I'll just pray. I'm like, Lord, help me to go back to sleep because I'm not quite getting my eight hours. And if I don't get my eight hours, I'm like, you happy with your five or six I would just feel like I had brain fog. I have to get my eight hours. So I'm like, yeah. and if and my I, day permits. You know, I do feel better if I still also sleep eight. Yeah, sure. But it's interesting. I have some patients, though, because they of waking up, you know, if you're always waking up at the same time, then you want to mm-hmm. look at, okay, where can you support yourself um, from, inter- you know, usually it's liver, sometimes it's gallbladder, sometimes it's lung, you know, those meridians, um, the Mm -hmm. meridian clock in traditional Chinese medicine. And then you also can look at the emotional pieces connected to it. Mm -hmm. And then additionally, like if you're doing a small amounts of melatonin, maybe not, you know, not at four in the morning, you're not going to take a a 20 or to a 40 hit, but you might take like a little three milligram and I have mm-hmm. some patients that take the, you're like, oh my gosh, my brain's racing. But I know when I, I took melatonin to fall asleep and then they just take a tiny little bit again to just like, okay, and I'm going to do my prayer or my meditation yep. and I'm just going to like take a little melatonin and I'm just gonna, so I can go back to sleep for another how many hours. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's totally fine. I have people take extra in the middle of the night all the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so it's our time is just about up today, but I just I am looking here at some of the notes, um, everything that you're talking about. So it is it's managing with all of the various tips that you have. I have stress and anxiety. Um, I have nutrition, um, alcohol consumption, kind of in the same category. Very important. Um, turning off. Side note. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, Decreasing it. <laughs> <laughs> Not adding it. <laughs> yes, right. Um, <laughs> uh, turning off devices, unless, of course, you're um, tuning into one of those apps that helps you to sleep. Um, supplementing proper, proper, um, high quality uh, supplements. Um, and then you talked about cell memory. You were talking about I forgot um, something. Like caffeine. Drug. Caffeine. If you're tired yes, and I you're stuck on caffeine. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you have right. to shut down your caffeine. Yes. Early, you know, like earlier yeah. in the day. Put that on lock much earlier. That on lock. Yes. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We can, caffeine is a whole other thing. I only drink coffee that also has um, reishi or Ganoderma in it. And so I can mm-hmm. drink it later in the day because it it's a, a calming adaptogen. So you don't get that mm-hmm. super spike like you traditionally would with caffeine. And still, right. I it depends on the day. It depends on my other stress levels. It depends on if I'm worrying, like what else is going on. Sometimes I can sleep, take it later at night. And, but not every night, because then you're just like getting wound up and you're just, you know, so. Sure. That's a big sure. Piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, caffeine really affects me. I drank decaf for years. I love the flavor of, of coffee, a, a good coffee. I mean, quality coffee. I'm quite a coffee snob, but um, the, I am quite sensitive to caffeine. So I drank uh, decaf for years and probably until about, you know, um, 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, but in fact, just yesterday, my husband said to my neighbor who was over, she's drinking coffee. And he said, is she drinking coffee? Don't let her drink anymore. We have issues if Sonia has coffee like after, <laughs> you know, after a certain time of the day. Don't give her any more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that is a big one, and that and that's something within our control as well. You know, just make breathe. Good. Yeah, most of us don't breathe. You know, yeah. like mm-hmm. when we're stressed. You know, like I really am a huge fan of. There's different breathing things, like four, seven, eight, or you know, like I'm gonna breathe for four, hold for four, exhale right. for four, breathe in for two, mm-hmm. exhale for four. You know, there's different breathing mm-hmm. techniques. Right. And I love and have promoted for years. I learned this from a uh, therapist, uh, Pauline Kaplan in Minneapolis, who also does small group things. She did women's groups. She does one-on-one therapy. And she really taught us how to like ground and have an open mouth breath. So mm-hmm. when we're stressed and we're like, you know, we're, you know, right. it's like we're floating around in the heavens and the cosmos. Like we are our own, I think of it as we're our own um, Macy's Thanksgiving day parade balloon. <laughs> well, no, right. we just have to come down. And so mm-hmm. if you're already stressed and anxious and you only breathe in through your nose, you're going to mm-hmm. just stay there. You have to like, you know, just exhale and breathe down and like inhale. And, you know, yeah. 
the mass thing is real hard for like breathing because you're exhaling into your own carbon dioxide yeah, so you're becoming right. it's more stressful um mm-hmm. you know so like whoosh, exhale that off and like get yourself grounded and centered and breathe to like calm your nervous system too during the day and before night the nose breathing mm-hmm. is great if you're in prayer if you're in yoga if you're in meditation because you're connecting to divine you're connecting to enlightenment mm-hmm. Um, so you're grounding and centering in a different way. So ne- I'm not saying never to nose breathe, but we, when we're stressed, we want to like whoosh, ground and center right. with a big exhale. Full diaphragm breaths. Oh, which is mm-hmm. my favorite. And then the other point yeah. was um, uh, I have to show prayer you that and meditation. Prayer and meditation. was another good point that you had. I'm sorry. Oh, with breathing, my uh-huh. favorite mask is, um, yes. you know, we have to work in masks all day. Yes. And this is, um, so this mask is called True 47, and we just get it on their website, TRU47. And if anyone's heard of cleaning supplies that have silver in them, like Norwax is like, I have a lot of their clean rags. So True 47 Mm -hmm. has silver in the mesh. So it's thin mesh. So it's, you know, so you can breathe Mm -hmm. through it, but it's actually, oh, what? It's actually antimicrobial. (laughs) <laughs> like we're trying to prevent viruses right. from spreading so we could actually use masks that actually kill stuff so it's awesome okay you know? i'm putting this so, in here. i mean I'm and you can breathe place. so it's better like I, with working with patients like i can actually whew, i can breathe with workouts you just wash it in water you re- usually don't mm-hmm. even soap you usually just unless it's like you're know, really breathing heavy with a hard workout then maybe just like a tiny bit otherwise you just rinse it under the sink with water and let it air dry and i mean you can just breathe so much better so yeah perfect okay i put that in there true 47 my spell check didn't like the first my first effort but i'll go back in there and delete that is true tru good okay all right so anything else my dear that we should be touching on in regards to quality sleep I think we've covered a lot. <laughs> yes, we I'm have sure I missed. There's so you know, there's so much to go over. I'm sure that I've missed some. I've missed something, and um, so just throw in more questions in the comments, and I'll watch for them and answer yeah. as I can. And mm-hmm. yeah, oh, and well, I there's one thing that I wanted to. <laughs> Yes, there's one thing I definitely wanted to highlight today is uh, today is Super Wednesday there uh, at <laughs> Lake Point. And so all of the supplements today are at 20% off. Can you share with our viewers how they can take advantage of this? Yes. So Super Wednesday, uh, you know, we have our practice as functional medicine. So we put people on plans. So we are just like, hey, good for you for sticking to your stuff. Save 20%. And you can call the office to order. 612-922-8100 or you can send an email to orders at lpwellness.com so our, our website is right. lpwellness.com 612 oh, just a second it cut out 922 8100 8 612-922-8100 Okay, good. So just call and take advantage and of that 20%. Leave a message. The phone, you know, we're busy on Super Wednesday. And so if no one answers, just leave a message and we'll call you back. So, and Perfect. if you call and we okay. don't get you called back today, we honor it tomorrow. So, yeah. Oh, let's see. Excuse me. That, that, was a, <laughs> that was a little sneeze. <laughs> that was my first on air sneeze in my 10 and a half years. Okay. Um, excuse me. Not as loud as, oh my goodness, the loudest sneezer I know for y'all from uh, <laughs> y'all who are watching from Skyway. Did Tyrone Sheffy not have the loudest sneeze, you guys? Oh my gosh, he would sneeze in class. And it was just like the whole wall would just be like shaking. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, well, we will go ahead and uh, and look at closing out. So Dr. Carrie Gitzmeyer with Lake Point Willows, thank you so much for making another house call today here on the Soul Thank you for having Somnia. me. It's always so fun to see you and talk to you. 
Yes, thank you so much. We look forward to receiving your tip of the week right here on the Salmon Show with Sonia every single Wednesday. So, uh, Maricopa, Arizona, I will be joining your community soon, the third week of May. I'm looking forward to meeting all of your beautiful, wonderful faces and plugging into all of the uh, the businesses and opportunities and the church and gyms and, of course, golf, because we'll be moving in there on the, what's it called, the Duke Golf Course right there in Maricopa. So, I look forward to meeting all of you and uh, sharing this show with you and learning from all of you about desert living and desert life. <laughs> so listen, I thank each and every one of you for taking the time to tune into the Somana Show with Sonia today. And uh, don't forget about uh, the the rally here today at four o'clock for Miss Marilyn in standing up for justice for Demetrius Hill. We are demanding that every case uh, matters and every life matters and that every case be reopened. So y'all stay blessed and whatever you put your hands until ne- uh, hands to do until next time. All right. Ciao, y'all. <laughs>